This video is going to discuss minor key signatures and the relative and parallel relationships between major and minor keys. The good news is minor key keys and minor key signatures use exactly the same key signatures that we've already used for major keys. Um, each minor key shares a key signature with a major key. And this relationship between major and minor is called relative. The submedian of a major scale is the tonic of the minor scale. So here we look at the C major scale, go up to the submedian, which is A. If you start playing a scale on A, you will get A minor. So here, C major. <laughs> We go to A, which is the submedian of C major, and play a, a scale. That's the A minor scale. So C major and A minor have the same key signature, no sharps, no flats, and are said to be relatives, relative major minors. Another way that you can look at this is the mediant of the minor, the C, is the tonic of the major. And once again, C major and A minor are relatives. The tonics of relative major and minor keys are separated by a minor third. So in this example, five sharps, as we already know, that is the, key, the major key of B major. The same key signature with five sharps is also the key signature for the relative minor, G sharp minor. A flat major, four flats, shares the key signature with F minor. So A flat major and F minor are, re are relative major and minor keys. The other relationship between major and minor keys is the one which shares tonics. This relationship is called parallel. So in this example we have C major and C minor. Notice that this time the key signatures are different. C major, no sharps, no flats. C minor has three flats. But they share the same tonic. So C major <laughs> and C minor. So C major and C minor are said to be parallel. It's easy to find um, the, the parallel major minor. If you're starting with a, a major scale, it's easier to find its parallel minor by adding three flats to the major key signature. So we've already looked at C major. C minor has three flats, whereas C, ma C major has nothing. In B flat major, we start with two flats. If you add three flats to this key signature, we have five flats, and that's B flat minor. G major has one sharp. When you add three flats, to a key signature with sharps, each flat will cancel out one sharp. So adding three flats to G major, one of those flats cancels out the F sharp, and then we add two more flats, so we're left with two flats. Notice that the two flats we have are the first two flats that are always added in any key signature, B flat and E flat, and this is a key signature we've used over and over, so don't think that you have to use the second and third flats or some other combination. Um, B major has five sharps. If you add three flats to five sharps, those three flats cancel out three of these sharps and you're left over with two sharps for B minor. And here is a helpful graphic of a circle of fifths which incorporates both the major and the minor, so this will help, help solidify as you once again try to memorize these key signatures. So hopefully by this time you've solidly got all the major key signatures 
memorized, I highly recommend you do the same with the minors so that you have all this information at your quick disposal.